Hi everybody, welcome to the ITK Soccer Show. It's the uh, 18th of May 2015 and we've got a lot to talk about. The uh, Ballad of Steve Gerrard, among other things. Recapping the uh, weekend Premier League action. We're also monitoring the second half of the Chelsea West Brom game, which is currently 2-0 to West Brom, and uh, says Harvey got, got sent off for being a petulant child. Uh, Barcelona also won the championship in Spain, and... They promoted the Premier League now? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to clarify the Spain thing, Andres. Uh, Barcelona won La Liga, and uh, we also know what the Champions League final is going to be. So loads of good stuff. John's back. How are you doing, John? I'm all right, yeah. And Dan, how are you? Fine. Well, we just, we'll just start off with this anyway, so uh, go ahead there, Dan. I, I've just been privy to it the last few seconds. Uh, you got... <laughs> oh dear oh no Dan if at any stage during the show you want to queue up just his one and play it randomly nobody is going to be upset yeah me and John get in a heated argument just pff, yep there you goes, go up that, it goes that will uh, and also uh, just for your uh, you said earlier uh, the ballad of Stephen Gerrard is no longer the ballad of Charlie Adam no. yeah no Charlie Adam's had his day Two, so, weeks, two weeks in the sun for Charlie Adams. Has weeks. he been made Scotland captain? Ever? Mm, no. No, this, Darren this week, wasn't it? Darren Fletcher. Oh, there was, a, there was a lot of talk no, about him. He said uh, everyone's available for choosing or something. Is yeah. Charlie Adams still potentially an international for Scotland? Yeah. He'd get an Irish team. Him and Fletcher, there's feckin' pace for you in the midfield. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the Premier League. First off, guys, we'll... Uh, Look at the relegation zone because everything else is pretty much decided. Top four wrapped up this week. Not that we didn't know what it was going to be last week, but mathematically now, Man United are in the Champions League qualifying position. Arsenal have third after uh, a draw at Old Trafford. So uh, we'll start at the top, though, which was uh, the opening game and a very exciting uh, three minutes in the first half. Southampton shellacking Aston Villa 6 1 at St. Mary's. Um, Maine. Is that his name? Manny. Yeah, Maine. Uh, yeah. I'm keeping the purple Maine. This For the Orlando, state. the state. Yeah, very and good. That's A I N E in it. It is. It's the only state with one uh, syllable in the whole of the United States. There you are now. Is it? It would yeah. be. Yeah. It is. Maine. Very good. Got that now. Very good. Well, anyway, Mane with uh, a hat trick, thirteen, fourteen, and sixty minutes. The quickest in Premier League history. And uh, John, we were talking before the show. You said that this really wasn't uh, a moment for Maine as much as was. Well, it uh, was like. It's incredible to score three goals in that amount of time, and two of them were nice finishes. And the first one was just people avoiding the ball until he. <laughs> I got something about the dance. Van Halen. Well, yeah, please, will you get it again there? <laughs> okay, go, but, uh, yeah, because I always it's the same with the Robbie Fowler one. Like you look back on that was incredible three goals in three minutes. Sure. But, like how bad do you have to defend for that? Like it was five five one at half time. Like Shane Long got two nice goals as well. Like. He's yeah. good though. Long. So this is the worst that um, Aston Villa. <laughs> what happened? Get it at the right part, will you? I can't do twenty seconds. I'll turn up as I can for this. That chunk from the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, all is forgiven, all is forgiven, Van Hal. Um, yeah, we're going to have a very short FA Cup final and boring if Aston Villa set out like that. Yeah, it was It was definitely the worst Sherwood performance since coming it's in. It's going to be short, it's still going to be 90 minutes. Yeah, but... Unless really, you short, I, 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 watch I, won't, I won't be watching it. Short in quality, I think. Was short in quality, okay. Mm. Um, well, Arsenal could be good if that's the case. Benteke still got a goal, though, uh, continuing his good run of form since Man, Sherwood took over. Not short in height. Preparing no. for his £32 million move to Liverpool. Like. Yeah, He's well... He's definitely playing for a transfer, I think. Yeah, to Liverpool for £32 million. Yeah. <laughs> Is that from the car? It's £32 million? I didn't know it was £32 million, but uh, sounds about right. In terms of like the nonsense of it, I don't agree with you it. You need Camoli. I would he give up football forever if we signed that am- man for that amount of money. You He's better than what you got. It's a factual statement. He's made. thirteen goals this season. Still, Villa had scored about six until February. So get Tim Sherwood in instead of the Brendan Rodgers. I know. Hold on. Let's not get carried away. Get out here. of my way. I- David Origi and Benteke. 
the Belgian connection up front. Get, ha- get Hazard in. Get Fellaini. Torgan Hazard. I'll take uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> any, uh, any of them. Get A Hazard in. Yeah. Or T Hazard. As T a Hazard. No, thanks. We have one injury-prone striker already. I don't want another one. Um, about 90 minutes after saying West Ham have had an incredible season, they lost 2-1 um, at home to Everton. Uh, these are two teams who, I don't know about their seasons. Everton's has just been up and down like a jockey's bollocks. West Ham had a really good start and nothing else happened. Uh, poor, poor. I actually don't know why they all hate on their legs. Like, this is what I was going like, to ask. They, they're, if they get another manager in, they're not going to finish top 10. I don't yeah. know what they're expecting. I don't yeah, they, they, these two were uh, drawing on the f- the, the fair play you know, to get into the Europa League. Oh, right. And uh, it finished 4-1 Everton. Everton got four yellow cards. And West Ham got one. So at the moment, it looks like West Ham are going to be in the Europa League next year. UCD are going to be in the Europa League next year. They got relegated from the League of Ireland and won the fair play because it was last year. So they got relegated and are going for a qualifying spot. That's nice of them. There you go, UCD. Good, good stuff. Now, Dan... We um, should go. We should go. Yeah, whoever they go, we should just go to it. Yeah. Just the student bar all day for three euro a point and... All right. well, that actually would so so a team has to come over and play UCD and win the qualification rounds for Champions League. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if the pitch. Europa. I don't think their pitch would be passed though. It's European standards. So. They do it in Rovers, are they? Mm, theory, probably, maybe probably yeah. have to outsource it. But listen, yeah. Dan, you're saying that uh, another manager isn't going to get them into the top ten. They're currently sitting at eleventh. Uh, would you have Big Sam out if they don't breach the top ten? <laughs> By no, your logic, is no. They've been, they were four for a while. They were. I know. Do you see, have, you see who they, a good job uh, there. I don't know what they're expecting. Do you see who they offered the job, and he went, "No, nah, I'm all right, Rafa." Yeah. yeah. Jesus, really? Did they think they had a chance? Yeah. Of course, he just got knocked out of the Europa League with Dinapo or Dinapo Dina or Dina Pro, yeah. the nipples or whoever they're called. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. I don't know what, like you know our, our friend Kieran, who's a bit of a West Ham fan. He's a huge West Ham but, like, fan. He's, he's been against, he's been against Paradise since he's gone there. Yeah, but so I know last year they were in a bit of a tricky spell, but he got them out when they finished like twelfth last year. When talking to Kieran, it you seems know, like, like he gets happy when Allardyce doesn't do well, which is very strange because that technically means his team isn't doing well. Because if you go back a few years ago, Zola was there. He left. They got relegated, didn't they? Yep. And then like Perju, he was well, so there. That he, one, uh, that's he got relegated. Yeah, Avram Grant wasn't charged. Avram Grant. Well, they sacked Zola. Remember they they're going through. Yeah. Remember Zola got sacked and Sky Sports News were there and he brought out all the reporters some tea. Yeah. Good man, Zola. I always right. like Zola. Did you know Sam Allardyce has a holiday home in Spain called St. James's because he bought it with the payoff that Newcastle gave him for sacking him? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like Big Sam. I like him as a character. I, like I don't him. like him, but I think he's got a good job all the time. And people should get off his back. Uh, Spurs, who have had some really poor results recently, beat Hull uh, 2-0, which really was bad for Hull in the grand scheme of things, keeping them uh, somewhat in the rele- relegation battle. We'll touch on that a little bit later. I actually didn't see highlights from uh, this match. Anything interesting? Hull have never won a Premier League match in May. Ooh, yeah. And they need to win next week. They might. They'll probably do that. West Brom are beating Chelsea. Liverpool beat Pat. Uh, okay. Liverpool. Um, Brunt has scored for West Brom. So it's 3-0 now. No, 3-0. Chelsea are going for a couple of record breaks today. Uh, one they had coming in was the longest being on top of the table in a Premier League season. They might have that. They will have that. What they won't have <laughs> is Chelsea. <laughs> they won't have uh, the 90 points. That uh, Jose was urging his team to uh, get. You might lay off then for against Sunderland next week. Very interesting. We'll, we'll, okay, speaking of Sunderland, I think that was a good segue. Well done, Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, nil all against Leicester City at the Stadium of Light. And um, a fine result for Leicester. Not so much for Sunderland. They're top of the form guide since yeah. March. It's kind of amazing. Amazing. What? And they were 19 points of early March. Mm and now they're finishing 37? 38. 38. They got 19 again, yeah. Uh, my, my friend, Double a different Kieran. Uh, you might know him as a Kude Kude Kude. He has uh, moved over to Leicester to study, 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 study. And I made a bet with him. I said, if Leicester, and at the time it looked very unlikely, I said, if Leicester are in the Premier League next year, I'll go over for the away Liverpool game. Well, it looks like I'm going to Leicester next year. Should it's I have a dump, but it's, yeah, go for it. <laughs> if, can be as- if it's good enough for Can be as- it's good enough for me, Dan. Yeah. Probably lives on the outskirts, though, doesn't he? In a nice probably cottage. Probably stuff like from Milan or Madrid, I'd say. <laughs> really? He did. He did live in Milan, yes, and Madrid, <laughs> yeah, I think and Buenos Aires. Um, okay, Burnley and Stoke City, and uh, I skipped one. Uh, QPR and Newcastle. How funny is it when Newcastle seem to be in the clear that they go down to a team that's already relegated? Still, technically, a chance that they can uh, lose, depending on how well Hull do against United. I guess we can talk about that in detail. But uh, just taking this game on its merit, it was one nil to Newcastle before. 
QPR came back and uh, is the self-proclaimed best coach in the country just... Uh, did you see what Alan Shearer tweeted? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been great. He only joined Twitter last week, and he's been phenomenal, taking the piss out of the fact that he's uh, part of an ad campaign about uh, Premier League tickets for next year when the team yeah. mightn't even be in the Premier League, <laughs> and also saying how he looks like. Who did he compare himself to? Uh, he said he looked like some ridiculously famous manager because of this performance here. Oh no! He go, oh yeah, he said something like that. He goes, uh, "Cheers." What's his name? The. the- John Carver. Yeah. John Carver. I was saying John Carter. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> John Carter. Uh, yeah, it's like, cheers, John Carver. You're making me look like Bob Paisley or something like that. <laughs> that was it. That was it. And yeah. I also like, Alan Shearer, how do you make your head, as another balding man, how do you make your head look so shiny? <laughs> he was like a mixture of like olive oil and all that sort of stuff. Like he gave, like. <laughs> he's fucking, he's really, really good. Pity he can't be like that on the television. Yeah, he's <laughs> splued on the television. Um, Burnley and Stoke City nil all. This is a really bad weekend of uh, Premier League. Football. Shocking stuff. It was. Mm. Uh, at Turf Moor, uh, Burnley already gone down, Stoke already safe, grand. Uh, Crystal Palace, and uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, Swansea City and Manchester City. Great um, match. Yeah, really, really good Is match. See Joe Hart in this match. Incredible saves. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> match that's, but that's when he actually goes, oh, he's actually a world-class keeper, like everyone makes him out to be. He's got like two or three games a year where he's incredible, and then the rest is kind of above average. Yeah, well, I think it's I think it's one of those. I think if he if he was Spanish or Italian, people would be like, he's great because he's an English. It's just like, Meh. well, he's like, you know, there's, 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 there's still not there's, as much hype around. There's still Spanish three recently. better keepers in the Premier League than him. Yeah, there's probably two of United. <laughs> Actually, judging on yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, we get there. Well, like you know, like there's just better keepers in the Premier League than him. So yeah, true. You know. So the story of this game, it was it was very back and forth. Um, City went two 0 up. Yaya Torre, who got a brace. This is just him kind of playing for, you know, his PSG he, move. It was his like he PSG just picked moved. up the ball and he's like, I might try just for this shot and just get past two and just whacked it in twice. You know, for, uh, for me, when it comes to Torre, I, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about his age too much. Uh, maybe I'm stuck at 10 birthday, years ago so. where we're at the end. <laughs> just did you wish about, him happy birthday? I did. I, well, on behalf of the IT soccer show, we wish him happy birthday. It's a bit late, though, was last week. Was it last week? Mm. He's going to be very upset. But uh, Patrick Hartless got a Lamborghini. You did? Avanja Makala. Um, anyway, you're, you're making me off track here. So, Torre, I don't know, is it a case where like he still has it if he needs it? Yeah, I think the City are doing a bit of an arsenal on it, and now that there's nothing to play for, just have a bit of fun, enjoy yourselves. Like. Offered $8 million to go play in Qatar for one year. I don't think I'll take no, it. I, I think, think he, he's, he's still good enough, yeah. him and Ibra, for PSG next year, I imagine. Ibra, yeah. Mm, yeah well, the PSG he, are into it. Why, why, why more likely to not go back with Mancini? Because Inter are finishing like tenth in the Italian league or something. That's why. <laughs> uh, then we had uh, Sigurdsson and Gomez uh, making it two all before Torre's second, which we spoke about. And then off the bench, come on, Wilfred Boney scores some goals, some goals for against Swansea. Swansea, which he did. Swansea. I really like those goals that like are re- like placed and come off the post. It looks like they're gonna hit off the other post, but just yeah. triple in. I just really enjoy them. <laughs> did he celebrate? Presumably uh, not. No. This is his first. Uh, Probably his first shot on target for City, was it? Yeah, he's going to score one or two goals. Was he? What? I have no recollection yeah, of this. Yeah, I think he scored in the 6 0 win over Newcastle. I think he scored the last goal. So. Yes. So he's a good um, man getting the last minute goals. 30 million well spent. I really don't want the show to be all about Liverpool, and we're going to talk about it all in a while. But um, <sighs> what I've been reminded of is uh, if they don't get Benteke a second option, Jovetic. Oh, yeah, I saw that today. Yeah. yeah. I'd take that. It's half the price. Probably would. Well, like Jovetic isn't going to get you 25 goals on Man, he's more of a he's more of a number ten kind of. Yeah, but we're relying on Danny Ings for that. Oh fuck! I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool love buying English strikers. There's no good transfers. strikers at all anymore. He green. He, how many I goals really, has he got yeah, this season? I, I I don't. I would not really think much of Green. The, the thing I know of Higuain now is missing clear chances in the World Cup finals. He did miss a huge. Yeah. Chance. Other than the, the name Higuain, who's an Argentinian forward, probably the worst one in the squad. Also, uh, when he played for Madrid, he had great people supplying him. He did score in his last full season there. I think he did score, like, 30 goals. Yeah, and they still let him go. Yeah. That was to fund um, thing, you know. Ronaldo. You know, like, no, not Ronaldo. Ronaldo was there with, with him. No, the mm-hmm. second last year they sold him, yeah. It was last year he went to Napoli. So what the... So what got, um, to fund Bale. Modric. Mod- no, Modric was there. They got Bale. In. For Bale? Bale and... Um, Bale. Yeah, no, you're right. I, know, I, right. I just think Higuain's up there with, like... Huntelaar and those sort of players that go you're easy. Like, no, I'm not saying but he's not a player linked, isn't he? Yeah, no, I'm not, no, I don't think so. I think he's far too old now. But like Huntelaar, and there's a few others that you just or Benzema even. Or not that I wouldn't take him. Hey, but he's you, good. you always see them linked with Arsenal, Liverpool, United. 
and I don't think it'll happen. It might happen at Napoli this year because... But Do you have like a little Lavezzi or something like that? Is it a bit old? A bit old. A bit and old. look, the last thing we need is years. Dina Tali. Okay. It would be nice. We did I'd offer, he said no. I'd ra- if, I'm, if we're talking about old, over-the-hill Italians, I'd take Totti before I take Dean Natale, obviously. Uh, we need to replace one talisman. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of Man United, uh, one all against Arsenal Old Trafford, we talked about that earlier, and Herrera uh, before um, the uh, Tyler Blackett own goal, which really just Valdez's first... Uh, shot potentially stopped. really him. his fault. Uh, yeah, I went knew, to ground knew, a bit. Knew, knew this was going to happen, Dan. He, it, it didn't look like he had any idea what he was doing. I mean, he hadn't yeah. played a game in a year and a half. It was nice sure. De Gea to be subbed for his... What was the point in this? I'm pretty sure he, he was his back. injured. He hurt his back? I thought it was some weird kind of some unspoken you goodbye. Could see no, but, no, but you, him a great reaction. You could see, though, he yeah. went up and punched the ball. Yeah. And then... Oh, uh-huh. went out, and he actually went down, and he was signaling to the bench. Fair enough, play, fair enough, so. fair enough. Van Hal's been very open about the fact that uh, it's going to be but difficult to. Uh, he's been very open about a lot of things. His wonderful voice being one, a gift to the world. That's he's the worst th- chant in the world, by the way. It doesn't even work. Like <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's so awful. But um, Van Hal has been pretty open in regards to how hard it's going to be to keep De Gea. I would be convinced he's. Uh, I think he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. I yeah. So. Especially when you're left in his deal. You know, they'd need the money. And they can cash in. And they'll still get 45 million for him but when you're left. Game yeah, Balgay, but they won't in January. Game Balgay did say that he um, definitely wasn't going to three months ago, so I don't know what you'd read into it. But I today, don't he's, read anything that I, he says. Today, Balgay said that really? it, it, is, it, is look, it does look like it's happening, so he's gone back, but he said that the issue right now is uh, compensation. For I, think, I think they will get him because Madrid know they've got this possible transfer ban hanging over them. Yeah. Because is getting booed by the fans. He's not playing well. Yeah. You know, we'll I, don't, I don't know what Casillas is going to do. We can, we, can, we can talk about the transfer. I, I, I presume Casillas. I, I presume they'd actually keep both for one year. Arsenal? No. Yeah, I still think he'd still cost a lot, and I don't think Arsenal paid for a goalie. I, I, I think that they'll keep both for a year. Mm, I think they will. I do Definitely. Agree with that, yeah. um, anyway, this game uh, wasn't the best. United are just. I just don't know what they are. There's a few things we can take from this, it being the last game at Old Trafford of the year. Their form has always been completely mixed uh, over the last two seasons. I took a few things away from this. Falcao, one of the biggest disasters in the last 10 years come to the Premier League. They paid 250 grand a week and what was it, 15 million, 20 million for the loan? So it's like 30 million for him for the year. You know what, just because the way football's gone, I don't know if we should get carried away with the money. Not that it's not ridiculous, it is. But just take it on the basis of big name centre forwards coming from abroad. Uh, Shevchenko is the worst. The worst? I'm yeah. pretty sure Shevchenko got more goals than this gentleman did. And I'm Shevchenko, pretty sure Shevchenko's like a like Shevchenko's bought for thirty and went with like, oh, we got Shevchenko. We're gonna kick on him in the league again. Dan, he still had a better season than Falcao. Shevchenko was like loved at Chelsea. He was kicked <laughs> out because Abramovich wanted Torres and Torres. Torres Chelsea. Mm. Yeah. He, uh, well, he he won four everything. league goals. Four league he won, goals. He won everything with the league. So yeah, he, it's a different one, isn't it? If you're in a mm. team that are doing well, obviously the weight was on his back. Van Persie going down wasn't going to help. Rooney going down recently wasn't going to help. But he never looked like anything. Uh, you were mentioning you were in the World Shed a few weeks ago when he hit the post. The United fans were just laughing. Yeah, uh, it, it's one like, of those. It was the people who weren't supporting United, you know, like me. It was like, wouldn't it be nice to see him score? Wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, like when he went, I think everyone's like. What a coup this could be. They, like, they, oh, remi- yeah, yeah. they remind me of that like AC Milan team from 2007 that was useless, but they were... Well, not 2007, maybe... 2009. Was, when they had 2009, Ronaldo, yeah. They had like Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Beckham, Shevchenko. They had everyone. And like in a game of FIFA Pro, like, these guys are gods. <laughs> and you see them go, no, nah, they just can't run anymore. Like, Di Maria, Falcao, Van Persie, just nothing this year. Yeah, let me throw out those names uh, really quickly. We can finish talking about the match afterwards. What is next for is the name of this game. We'll start with Di Maria. He stays. Stays. Does he have any sort of role next year? If they're bringing in Memphis to pay... No, he'll, I think he'll go. I he'll think Dimaria will go right wing. He'll, he'll play. Yeah, he'll, he'll play. I think he'll... Can I ask, like, can I ask well, why is he not playing right wing now and why will he play right wing Because he's year? not playing well. He needs... I don't know. He's had a lot of time to settle. He's had a year now, but... I don't know I where do the faith is coming from. He can't just turn a bad player overnight. Well... He was he good. He was good very player. good in his last year with Madrid. I know, but look... It's, okay, Falcao. Leaving. Back to Monaco. Well, or may- maybe the US or something, or Qatar. Yeah, I can see someone throwing in a bid from... I'd say he could easily in. fit in at a relatively Juventus. top table team at, uh, in Italy. Juve, I was going to say. Fiorentina. Juve are in four. Fiorentina? 
Juve just bought someone for like 60 million, didn't they? 60? Yeah. Who? What? Who? Who? Some guy that was tearing up the Italian league earlier in the season was very... Oh, the, the, the striker off Palermo. The, yeah. Um, well, no. The Argentinian guy. Or is it Sampdoria? Who you played for? I don't know. I will look into it's this. It's your man. No, he's, he was linked by a few teams. Okay, I'm going to have a look now. Mm. Rob Van Persie. Stakes. Goes. I think he has to go, right? He's not good enough. I he's a uh, very high way. I think United still need certain players. Van Hal wants to play like with one up front. And he's going to need a midfielder, attacking midfielder. And he needs to get Van Hal. the future of Dybala. Dybala, is it? I think Rooney did enough this Rooney, year to Rooney, Rooney be the striker up yep. front, yeah. And as we were talking about United, what about Bale? Stays at Madrid? I think so. I think he definitely I, stays at Madrid. No, I just, think it, just, just, just it, it the depends idea. on Chalotti goes or stays at I, th- I think he'd be there regardless. They have to play a centre forward though. If we're thinking that... Yeah, if we're thinking that... Um, if we're thinking that Falcao and, and, and Van Persie aren't going to be around next year, like Rooney gets croaked, which inevitably happens once a year. What um, mm, what backup will they have? Well, I think they will maybe bring they will someone keep, in. Maybe they will keep Van Persie. I think they'll keep him as backup. Oh. He's anyway. not a bad player to bring over 20 minutes. Uh, we will see any any final notes coming out of this game we haven't talked about because we have to move on to the uh, uh, other thing now. Will sure and Walcott, okay, that was a bit of, but he was pretty awful stuff. Everyone I think Arsenal were up to Montreal. Did Richard play? Came on. Yeah. Jeez, I don't even remember. Yeah. I remember um, will Walcott be there Flamity next coming on. Walcott be there next year. He'll, he'll sign the ground record. But will Arsenal not spend another £40 million on a failed winger from Barca or Real Madrid and there'll be no place for him? And mm. fails a bit hurt. Well, fails Sanchez was a bit hurt. Well, he, 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 he was. They bought Suarez, who's going to win the treble with them, and is the, yeah, he's, he's not and is the best front three that they've had. Yeah, but he's not. Uh, that's that's hard to make some. F- that's yeah. Failed. I know. I said failed. failure was a tough word. I'm just saying that they massively improved in what they got. Yeah, yeah because he's not. He's not for more money. He's no, not. Money. He's not Messi world class or Ronaldo or I'm Suarez. Not he's, I'm saying, I said he's in the, the, he's in the I'm second. With you. He's in the second bracket of players like a Hazard or a Bale or yeah. They had him last he's year. They didn't the league. Bracket, like. They don't have him this year. And they won the league. I'm just saying they massively improved in what they got. I think we're talking about two different people here. You're still talking about Suarez. You were talking about Sanchez. But I'm just saying, like I say, o- Ozil. They bought Bale and they won the Champions League and the Cup, and then Barca. Got rid of Sanchez and brought Suarez in. Yeah. Now they're on Oh, there's no doubt. Thrill. There's no doubt. No, but, but I'm just, not, just, just failure was the word yeah, I yeah, normally no, used, but I'm no. saying that yeah. both teams upgraded while getting money from Arsenal. There were two players that Sanchez had a good first half of the season, I would argue. Yeah, but you goals. take Sanchez out of Arsenal season and. Uh, so 24 goals. Yeah, it would have been pretty dire. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, Steve Gerrard stuff. Um, this is just a absolute circus. Uh, very emotional if you're a Liverpool fan. Um, interesting takes on it if you're not a lot of people are saying that uh, it was too over the top obviously I can't detach myself from it but I will ask Dan Dan is it a case that this is um, over the top I guess the comparison that was made that got me thinking was would Liverpool in your opinion (coughs) have put this much in to the Steve Gerrard goodbye if we actually had other things to celebrate um I think he would have got a huge reception anyway. I think Sky was the one who made more of it. Like, Liverpool were entirely in the rights to make whatever they wanted to do with him. You know, like, if they want to build a statue of him, fair enough. If they want to build a stand and make it after him, that's fine. That's what yeah. they do. But I'm talking about what Sky are doing. Sky are the ones who are broadcasting. Sky are the ones on the pitch. Sky are the ones licking his arse all week. You know what I mean? But, like... Yeah, they would have done that anyway. Even if there was stuff to play for this weekend. I think, though, the match was, like, lost Absolutely. in the shuffle. Right. It was, like... You know, everyone thought like just everyone kind of thought that Liverpool were going to win, but then well, you, rea- no, no, then you no. realise that Crystal Palace has the sixth best away record of the season. Yeah, and what myself and John talked about it. It's like you know, Liverpool were vulnerable. Yeah, but like, like how could, could you could not have been be more distracted? As well. I, I, like I watched the highlights, and you could like argue that Saha's goal was offside. The, pen- be, the penalty was outside the box. Liverpool was. should have had a penalty because. But, but even it was the most ridiculous sort of match, and the final twenty minutes were. Everyone like Henderson was like Passing Henderson was like one on one and tried to go back to Gerrard like it was just it was ridiculous but I think mm. Liverpool did the same thing they did with Carragher I just think because nothing Carragher else, hit the post in his yeah level. and just because uh, and because nothing else is happening in the Premier League yeah Scott well there was, to, yeah, there was so, nothing there was nothing else to report I I, I I agree but they, I, like, I, I think they would they would have done it anyway yeah and like my phone was going nuts because like, oh like Gerrard losing on his last game sitting there going uh, like my comment was oh he would have been a legend except he lost for Palace in his last game like it just means yeah. the match means nothing I've, I've asked this before are you going to change your mind you're going to retire at the 8 years you know no I, Phil Thompson wants outrageous. something no, Phil Thompson <laughs> fuck off Phil Thompson wants a lot of things do you think it'll it'll change as next year or will he go 
give her your Janich will be wearing it next year. Danny Ings, I don't care. Yeah, I guess we can talk about that now. I actually, I want to talk about... one was a year, wasn't it? Till Cham. Yeah, but 23 is different to 8. Very much so. But I, I, I want to... Or Alberto. I've got My a case to... Uh, here you go. <laughs> I've got a case to make next week about, uh, about whether or not Steve Jordan was important to this campaign or not. And and obviously we have a whole season review oh, to do. And this kind campaign of, was a sham. It doesn't make a difference. It's irrelevant. It kind of fits into that. I mean, it's just a little, little thing we talked about before and I want to bring it up next week. But um, we can just talk about the moment now, briefly. Um, did you enjoy his send-off? And, uh, you know, for me... And I think we both agreed on this. I guess it's just, it's very rare in football to get anything like this. The way that the market's gone, the way that loyalty doesn't exist anymore. We're never going to see anything like this again as Liverpool fans either. I don't and think anyone's going to see anything like this. No, Xavi. It was very emotional. Well, Xavi see, Xavi's is, uh, different. Xavi was, Xavi's not different, but Xavi is different. He's it's, not. It's very, I'll tell you why it's different. If He's I rejected other clubs as well. If I, I'll tell you why it's different. There are other people from the Catalan area who have played great and long careers at Barcelona. Another thing about Xavi is that Xavi was never, ever the guy, as good as he was, to grab the team by the scruff of the neck because Barca were good enough. They had other world-class players. Steve Gerrard stood out like a sore thumb because of the absolute fucking sponges he had to deal with over his 17-year career. The most perfect way was put, and I've never seen anything like it, especially with that dynamic of not being surrounded by other world-class players, we just so happen to have a fan who was really good at football on the pitch for 17 years. Yeah, no, I, I, if you put it like that, yeah, you agree, but I still think, though, in terms of one-man clubs, Xavi is right up there with Jared. Yeah, well, you can't, I'm not saying he's not, but, like, it's a difference to what the, it means, the, though. The problem is, like... He did say no to Chelsea a few times. Yeah, he did. Well, sure, and he wanted to go. He didn't like Benitez, which is fine. Who likes their bosses? No, wait, you're talking about Xavi. I'm ta- oh, no, Xavi, Xavi yeah, I thought you were talking guys, about Xavi. Guys, get he, it together. He did say no <laughs> in 2005 no, I know, I know, to Mourinho. It's not about that. It, yeah, it's about the fact that... In yeah, you, yeah, because he didn't like the way things were going. They weren't a one-man team, and Xavi wasn't the one-man. And, and that's the difference. That's the difference. He was a, he was a vital element. He yeah, was, but he wasn't the main man. He wasn't yeah. pa- spreading 60-yard passes to Philip Dagan. And just wanting to <laughs> shoot himself. Like, yeah. Xavi never had to deal with shit like that. He had, to, good, had to deal with Ronaldinho and Deco swinging their lads in the dressing room <laughs> just having a great old time with a good few <laughs> drinks on them. But he didn't have to deal with the nonsense of Albert Riera and Philip Dagan and Sua. And that's all in one match against Arsenal in the Emirates. <laughs> yeah, he's very right. Uh, the one thing about Xavi is that he's also very lucky to be partnered with potentially, if not arguably, the other best Spanish midfielder <laughs> of the last ten years. So look, it's I think it's a very I, know, I, I think though they're both legends on their own right. And they've got, got, got two guys. Well, I would imagine Xavi will probably leave as well. Toddy's so. a far closer example to Gerard because Roma have had a very similar run to Liverpool in terms of uh, their successes over the last few years and where they've come and going in and out of the Champions League. So you think of a team of legends, one one man teams? Good. That would be pretty good. Um, did Zanetti only play for Inter? No, he. Played for an, an Argentinian team. I'm convinced. Yeah, I, I'd say you're right too. Anyway, there, John, he's, he had t- at least 10 years with Inter. Uh, he had some very nice words after the match. He had his children around. Everybody was wearing Gerrard jerseys. It was really, really lovely and whatnot. They did a guard of honour at the start. Probably the latest Steve Gerrard chant I've ever heard. Uh, all in all, it was very emotional. And Crystal Palace also joined in for the last one, which was nice. Did they? Yeah. Palace fans are great. That's yeah, they pretty are. cool. They're great. There was a great bit that he did, that uh, same thing um, Paisley did when he left, where he did the guard of honour and everyone that threw something at him. He got his daughter to pick it up, so he has everything that the fans, like all their scarves and stuff. Oh. And he also refused to sign an LA Galaxy jersey, which I thought was he quite said, nice. Yeah, he said he won't do it until he's... Yeah, he did so- give the guy another autograph. So it, it wasn't Oh, that was what happened. I noticed yeah, the there was some, some kind yeah. of thing going on oh, there. Oh, did you see that messy thing? What happened? Me- this old man went up to get an autograph of Messi. And you know how you, 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 it happens, people just go, no, no. But the problem was, he was on like one of the es- escalator things at the airport. Sure. And was trying to push past Neymar, who was happily signing autographs. And like there was this other person in front of Neymar. So Messi just, co- Messi just couldn't get away. So just like, it's the hardest thing to watch. Because just like, you're such a prick. <laughs> It did. It did look pretty bad. Yeah, right? but that's the problem with these sort of videos. You're always gonna. So why, why did like, from all we knew, we had the runs and run as a toilet. We don't know. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's just, it's just, it was just. He's supposed to be a nice time. guy, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's probably. Yeah, just, John. So it was very emotional. And uh, did you enjoy the festivities at the I end of did. the day? I did. I would have preferred if it was like on Liverpool FCTV, kind of like what the QPR match was, which is what the interview was. It's just because Sky had nothing else that day, and they booked that five o'clock game. Should, but Sky didn't even analyze the match. 
No. Yeah, exactly. Because talked about that's how little the match mattered. That's why this season's been for so long. Yeah, I agree completely. It's been, like the like, relegation was great what's until like four 0 West Brom now or something. Is it like it's no, until, until Hull now. lost to Burnley there last week? Yeah. The relegation was great fun, and now it's like. Mm. Yeah, do you remember how, like being here a few weeks ago and saying how big that Leicester Sunderland match was going to be? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's have a look at the bottom of the table now. Going from uh, 18th up, Hull uh, in bottom place on 34, 34 points, Newcastle on 36, Sunderland on 37, Villa and Leicester on 38. I guess we can just focus on those three, though, Hull, well, those Newcastle are, those are and Sunderland, exactly. So um, <laughs> Let's not focus on them. <laughs> so, man, so what do you think? Will Leicester finish 15th or Will 16? Swansea get dragged in up there in 8th? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, the, the Man United match against Hull... Um, I guess is the deciding factor. Newcastle can draw uh, and still go down if if Hull beat. Their goal uh, difference is effectively the point. Worst. The but problem is that Sunderland have Arsenal on Wednesday and Chelsea on Sunday. If so. Arsenal decide, they'll they can beat Sunderland five 0 if they want. Yeah, but they have the FA Cup coming up and nothing else to play for. Well, they, they, need but a, they might be fighting for places. They need a point to get third, don't they? Okay, call it now. Uh, We've done this every week. John, I think. I don't think Sunderland will get a point, but I think they've got enough. Um, I think Steve Bruce has turned over and got his belly rode so often by United that they almost. He's favor. never beaten Man United as a manager. Yeah, no, but this time. That, if it was Liverpool is against it, fucking pack it all the way. Ah, uh, no, he only gets draws. <laughs> but uh, I would imagine that Hull will probably go down, but I'm really hoping for Newcastle. I think Hull will go down, but I wouldn't surprise me if they beat Man United. The yeah. pressure Newcastle are under. Newcastle are under the pressure, not Hull, by the way. Yeah, I, I think it's... Because I, they've I, got a, a dead rubber match with West Ham at home. Sure. Or Vieira's and just starting it, his goal scoring of the season with his first goal there. <laughs> if they if they go 1-0 down, for example, West Ham, which Allardyce, by the way, going back there, will want to get one over them. Andy Carroll going back there. Sure. There's players who might, you know... Might Is Andy Carroll still playing? You know, Kevin he? Nolan, he's still there. Yeah. So there's a few lads yeah, there... Um, who might want to get one over in Newcastle, especially Allardyce anyway. So imagine they go 1 0 up in the first 20 minutes. Sure. The f- there's going to be 50,000 boos. Like they, Carver has still only got one point out of 30. Oh, I know. Which is inc- shocking. I've never seen it. Like yeah, it. I, I think it'll be Newcastle because, you know, we need some kind of payoff to this season. So you, you think Newcastle will go? I do. I think. If Newcastle Hull don't, will. is this the worst Premier League season of all time? Absolutely. Absolutely. And even with it. Give me this something. one. No, this one. No, twenty twelve thirteen was shocking. Yeah, Is that the uh, the one where Van Persie won the league. Yeah, there were twelve points clear in February. That was bad, but yeah. Okay, latest news. Um, we we'll get to that in a minute. Jake Livermore caught doing the cocaine. Mm, a bit so. stupid, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, three players have been caught. There's an, an Irish lad was caught, a Wolves yeah. keeper. Yeah, dude. And another he was doing a bit of ecstasy, though. So tell me this. Are these random tests, or how, how did this come they're about? Just, yeah, there, there's test. another lad caught today in the lower leagues as well. They're, I think they're just randomly going for people, which is good. good. Like, good. you don't want good. it, like, you know. Okay. Um, I guess we'll talk about um, Adam Johnson, uh, first day in court yesterday, and uh, out on bail uh, already from... The, uh, the 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 hearing. So I I really don't know. Uh, kind of that's good news for him, but um, I guess keep an eye on that. Financial fair play to be relaxed next season. So I, this is across the board uh, in terms of all the teams that have been City, penalised. City and PSG could get away with it next year. So Barca are still in, under the cap. Good for City. <laughs> so good for City. But like I think it's good actually. Well, hold on, hold on. Fair play doesn't work. Are ba- Barca still fact. No, no, that's nothing to do with the financial fair play. They're there because the, they the they Neymar. signed slaves. Essentially, they they took young people, like twelve years old, and they brought their dads. I'm supposed to give them jobs, and they didn't, and all this. And it was they were stealing players off young academies and stuff, and pretending to give people jobs. And basically, you go into the club shop and buy a Messi jersey off Messi's dad. Is basically what was going on. Like. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so that th- they owned it off for a different reason, and I think. P- PSG and, and go uh, and Real Madrid are the same thing. Like okay. Arsenal, like all the teams do it. Like that's the whole thing. I don't know why Barcelona made an example of it, but. All the teams are doing it, but it's, well, Barca, for, it's for a different reasons. Arsenal reason. will do it from like. But are Ars- Barca are also in trouble for the Neymar tax thing. Yes, it's nothing to actually do with fair play. Right. It's not fair play, so. Um, so basically, PSG and City are both going to be able to spend during the summer, mm-hmm. without any. Well, it's a little bit more. They still have restraints. Okay, so we don't know exactly how much more. But this, this FFP is nonsense. Um, it it puts a cap on the small teams, and it just makes the bigger teams. They can't be caught because they'll always have a bigger budget. 
Okay. It's ridiculous. Um, is Pellegrini staying next year? Hopefully. It depends. It'd be mad if, if they made sack it clear that they, if they sack him. Yeah, it'd be made it clear that they want Guardiola, but Guardiola's like not going anywhere until like one we're, year. Uh, Ancelotti, they could yeah. arguably get. That's the one thing they're like. Or like, Rafa for a year, which is also being tipped. Not that they could do better, probably. Well, but West Ham want him. Uh, well, he said no to West Ham. He wants a Champions League club, which City are. But, like, it's again. There's no great managers available. Like, like Real Madrid now with Ancelotti. I don't think he'll be there next year, but to, yeah, who, who can come in? Well, according to get, I'm not saying, Guillaume Balaga said that they've actually asked Mourinho back. He said, yes, no. he said that they asked four people. Um, they asked <coughs> Klopp, they asked Rafa, and the Mourinho, and the Porto manager. Yeah. So, yeah, rumors are they want a Spanish person. Could you imagine Rafa? Jeez, well, there's he'd, a, he'd last a month. Ah. Uh, well, be hilarious. Even I am is doing a good job of Valencia. I was going to make a point <laughs> to him. I heard a funny story about uh, Rafa when he joined Liverpool. He His first training session, he asked everyone to run to the wall. And everyone did. And then they came back and he goes, right, run to the wall again. Oh, yeah. He came back, goes, run to the wall again. And only holds my attention. He goes, why are you asking us to do this? He goes, I wanted to know who'd be the first person to give out to me. <laughs> just like, because no one would have, st- no one stands up for the manager, stands up to the manager, like, and that's just Rafa was. So he thought this was a good thing that somebody was standing up to, yeah. correct? Not a bad thing. Because it could have gone either way there, you know, because yeah. Rafa's mental. All right. Um, what are <laughs> you going to talk about? But, but, but Angelino, who's going to come in um, for, C- for, for Madrid? There's nobody. Like, he might stay there by default. I, I, you know it's what? a possibility, but if they've inquired for, for City, though, like City maybe might go for Ancelotti, who'd be great. Well, if they've inquired about that would be great, but if they inquired about... Actually, that'd be fantastic. But if they inquired about Rafa, I could see Rafa taking it. Rafa would only be a year year plan. He'd only be there for a year. But you don't know that. He's not, he's not locked in. Most, most, Madrid. most Real Madrid Come on. are a year plan. The, the, That's the, the, the style of play he plays. He, the, the, that wouldn't last long there. Come on. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, moving on. <coughs> sure, um, Hello lost the job because of it. Sure. Okay, Barcelona and Juve confirmed for the final. Um, we did a show on Tuesday, so we haven't talked about the Juve Real Madrid match. Um, it ended one all on the night, uh, which had Juve progressing. Uh, a goal from Morata in the second half, and uh, I did tip him last week to score. I'm very delighted about that. So um, it's it's going to be great. more delighted. You said weeks ago Juventus for the final. I know. I know, and I'm vindicated as well. Like I like I was bringing up in the past, you know, I said it was four best teams in Europe, and I'm 100 percent right because the the quote unquote weakest team have made the final. So there you go. But overall, we know that they're going in as the underdogs. Still, I I'm a little bit torn on this, so I presume you guys are are more so. Would you rather seen the El Clasico with the two best players in the world still? At peak age, rather than just you know, Ronaldo's tipping thirty, and it's not going to be not going to be too many more opportunities now. Other people are going to step up, no, like Paul Pogba. But do you think that uh, this is a missed opportunity, or are you happy to see the old lady in the final? We we'll see El Clasico like four or five times a year. We don't see the no. Champions League final though, and it's kind of there's something interesting about it being showcased with the two best players in the world being showcased in Champions League final, isn't there? I there's guess. There's, well, I there's, think it was better when it was United and Barca, Barca way back when. Because I thought they were more in their prime then, I think. I'm well, sure yeah. Ronaldo's record is far better now than it was then. Well, it was. I think he's probably more well, turned more Barcelona. He's doing what I joked Messi always did and never did it in like big games and stuff. Like, yeah, like I don't. You he's certainly he's don't. Ronaldo, to, to be fair to Ronaldo, he's only won two trophies at Real Madrid. It's ridiculous. No, three, man. excuse me, three. Jeez, all right. Um, but, but like, you, you know what I mean? Like, would you answer the question? Would you? Are you happy? No, to see? I'm. You know, I'm a big fan of Spanish football, but I don't want to see that as a Champions League final. Speaking of Barcelona, they did they did capture um, the uh, the title this this week in uh, Liga, so that's huge for them. Um, you see front the three broken the record. Fan shouting Juve just to oh, where are they? Piss off they there. did they did applaud them though off the pitch to be fair as well. Yeah, so well, they can be pricks and nice guys. Ah, they're the just time. they're just giving them one in there. But. Yeah, a bit of banter. Yeah, but fair. They I did see. applaud them off, which is and the Barcelona nice. bus getting cast and caught in La Ramblas. What happened? Basically, this was from Alan driving it. Uh, it might have been. That's <laughs> uh, it's the only thing he could do this year. <laughs> uh, bec- there's a thing they do in Spain whenever you win the league, you put your scarf oh, yes. on a trophy or whatever. Right. And Barcelona's bus tried to drive down the street and tr- then tried to turn around. Isn't it like Temple Bar the street? Yeah. Isn't it? Like you was, can't drive yeah, it. Yeah, and like. it was like an Austin Powers type situation where Excellent. it took him a good while. To do you remember Ramos dropped uh, the cup? Yeah, he dropped the league off the bus. Yeah, and the bus, and the bus rolled over. over. Yeah, mm. idiot. Um, <laughs> There's a dent in the Champions League that Liverpool have because Milan Barish dropped it off the piano. 
we'll get to that. <laughs> they, it's not the same Champions League every year. It's passed on, is it? You get well, the replica, don't you? You from, keep it. You, you keep, keep the replica for the, for the club shop after it, isn't it? Or something. No, I, you keep the real one. No, uh, no, 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 no. The real one is no. Yeah, every five times, you keep a real one. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the real one, I thought, always would have like all the names engraved. Or no, maybe not. I thought that all the names engraved on the side. You see, so. There would be only one real one. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can uh, can help. But well, surely everyone is one one. There is one in the club shop. Oh, yeah, no, that's they're, the they're replica. Yeah, I was agreeing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Madrid, uh, four points behind, uh, but they are definitely going to finish in second. And uh, in terms of Champions League, uh, I guess... Uh, Atletico and Valencia. Have a problem. Well, no, Valencia are only one point ahead of Sevilla, so... Sevilla. Valencia, Valencia, Valencia. Okay. If, well, if Atletico finish fourth, they could face United in the qualifier. They well. won't finish fourth by the looks of things here. No. Oh no, they could. They could. Sorry, the goal difference is only one, and there's three points. So yeah, no, Valencia win and Madrid don't in the last game of the season. But in Valencia, but the la- last yeah. year though was gas though because Atletico Madrid went to the new camp and won the league, and then this year, last game, second last game of the season, Barcelona go to the Calderon and won the league. So yeah, off off the reigning champs. Yeah, it's quite. It is Which quite is, incredible. You know, you don't really get that. Okay, uh, we will get to the awards uh, teaser and fantasy football with only one week left to go. So that's going to be exciting, Dan. Uh, we'll start with you, John. Your hero of the week. Um, this is going to sound weird, but let me explain. Um, my hero of the week is um the Liverpool fans. Um, they do a cool thing. They've done it the last few years, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. It's called like the Golden Samba, and all the Liverpool fans vote for their Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. Sure, and obviously Steven Gerrard got an award for being like a legend this year. And uh, what happens is the trophy is handed down from the cop to a young kid who gives the trophy to the player on the last home game. Yep. And like Sterling, Coutinho, and Gerrard obviously got it this year. And I just think it's a really cool thing, and it connects players to the fans, which I just don't think really happens in football all that much. Yeah, and God knows we need to try and connect players to the fans because. Yeah. Uh, We'd like them to stay. Yeah, and the guy and the guys who run it, like when it started, it started so long ago. I think Lucas won it, and <laughs> Lucas was like, "Just drop it to the training ground, and I'll get it." And they were like, "You're getting it from the crowd." <laughs> Dad, you're here of the week. Go on, I give it to Gerard. Go on, I give it to him. Go on, do you want to say something about him? This is the podcast where you get to say things that will go down in history rather than the usual drunk ramblings we tend to forget uh, about. And I'm including all of us in that, not yeah, not just I you. Know, just because we're big boss drinker. <laughs> give me a bit of. Okay. Anything to say about him? <laughs> I presume that this is an audio clip of Steve Gerrard that you've prepared here. First of all, load. Dan. Oh my god, Okay. Ma- oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually celebrating that as well. Like, oh, you will. You definitely would. There's yeah. something. Well, to no, yeah, Jared. Well done. You had a great career. All that stuff. Can we just say we didn't mention my first query into Irish football? I was going to actually. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you that after. Hold the on. I, I'd much rather uh, find out about the word you've just yeah, invented. You <laughs> <laughs> said soiree. And he said quarry. It's a Frenchman's quarry. Um, yeah, actually. All right, fine. You were at uh, Shamrock Rovers versus. Longford Town. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> I thought they'd be giving you it now. So I think anyway. that's the highest scoring game in Irish League football. 3 2, was it? I was wet and cold. Well, not really, because Dundalk won last yeah. week. Yeah, I, fair, so. was it, what was it? Tell me about your experience. I did a little recap about a year ago as well. It so. was cold. It was wet. It was, it was the, so was the weather. Yeah, there was a lad who had just eaten a few burgers and played up front for Rover. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Nord is sponsored by Burger King. Presumably he gets them for free. At least the ones in the ground. He's gas, like, because he, he's actually okay. He's just fucking, he just, he's a fat I, shit. I sent, uh, Jesus, I sent, I sent he's, my, he's fucking huge. I sat down and I sent my cousin a photo of where I was and he goes, what are you sitting in the scumbag section for? Yeah, yeah, Dan dragged me there as well. Yeah, well no, that, that's, 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 that's where not, it's most fun. Yeah, I, no, like, I like being beside the ultras, but let me tell you something, yeah, John. Let me you're tell not you something. in the ultras. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, for me, it was an interesting one. Like, was it a good game? Uh, because the two teams were comparable with skills, so they cancelled each other out and it was just a good game, or was the skill lacking so much that even though it was 3-2, it still wasn't it's, good to watch? It's hard. Can I say it's a mixture? Like, it was 3-2, yeah. but four of the goals were, like, laughably bad. It was poor defending. Yeah, like, it's... Uh, which is fine. Like, it happens at every match, I guess. 
It was nice. It was grand. It was good to go to. Lo- nice. lo- low football is always fun. Like, it wasn't as bad and, and all the, the horrible things you hear about it. It's not. I don't. I mean, you know what I mean? I'll I say half those horrible things. <laughs> yeah, you, you just say it for you just it was annoying me in this show. That's all. I don't hear too many horrible things about it myself. But yeah. you know, you know, you hear like, oh yeah, all all the fan trouble. It does not like you hear all about like the standard players absolutely shy and everyone's hoofs. That doesn't happen. Like, it doesn't Did you hear happen. about that fan trouble in London this weekend? Go like, on. In a sort of football factory, all the football fans got together. Uh-huh. That's because uh, was it Newcastle, Everton, and Hull all had away matches. So yeah. all the fans went to the same train station, and Everton fans started throwing bottles at the Newcastle Hull fans. Ah, and a big battle brought out. Came out. Is it captured on CC television footage? The, it was reported in the Guardian, so I, I didn't. Did the London fans it. get in mixing well? Nah, they get those Millwall fans. They're in. Get them in there. West Ham fans get involved too. Oh, they would, yeah. Anyway, Dan, uh, I'm not going to pressure you to say anything more about Steve Gerrard, but that was very nice of you. My hero of the week, might surprise you, is Steve Gerrard. And <laughs> the, <laughs> now the reason that Steve Gerrard has nothing to do, and I'm, well, it kind of does and it doesn't. It's, it's not because of the weekend that's in it, right? But because of the weekend that's in it, myself and John were on a bit of a Gerrard kick. We were hanging out on Saturday night. We watched the second leg. I or, was also there. Yeah, but no, after you left, oh, okay. uh, we watched the second half of the... Istanbul final, like the full forty-five minutes and extra time and everything. And how, all how long were Liverpool the better team? Eight minutes? Actually, way longer than you think. That's what was I it. Way, way longer than you think? Yeah, definitely. I fell asleep. It goes back. <laughs> to, yeah, I, I no, analyzed some final. That was some no two. Come closer, Mike. There. So another thing he showed me. Uh, see, I don't watch it. Is Steve Gerrard on a league of their own? And he's telling a story about uh, the Champions League final. They asked him the famous story about going to bed with the trophy. And the exact quote was, so a few of the lads were sculling back pints, getting a bit drunk. And uh, I was one of the last lads standing because, you know, I'm a big boss drinker. (laughs) Now, I didn't know that some phrase about drinking at 20... How old am I, 38? (laughs) At 27 years of age. (laughs) 28. I never knew that a phrase about drinking could come into my life at this stage in my life and make me want to drink even more than I already do. But there it is. Big boss drinker, Steve Gerrard. Here's to you. Your goal of the week, Dan. I, sorry, I, I, sorry, I also like how he finished the story. He was like a big boss drinker. And he, then he stood up and he goes, right lads, I'm going to bed. And they were like, all right. He goes, I'm taking that with me. <laughs> Just makes up the joke. He also confessed to wanking in a sock on the show, which I can't believe that the star didn't get a hold of. Or the sun, but anyway, maybe not. Goal of the week, my friend. Um, I'll give it to Maddie Phillips. He did a great goal again against um, Newcastle, but I think Messi's goal to win the La Liga, was in, the close control was incredible. Oh, yeah. A quick one too with Pedro, I think. Yeah, and yeah. it was a beautiful touch outside. Let me finish. So Mine means nothing, goals. but uh, it's also a close control goal. The uh, Lewandowski strike against Barca at, uh, at the, uh, whatever the fuck the arena's called, John? Allianz Arena. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Morata's goal, no. <laughs> yeah, I know, I wanted it. Uh, um, Shane Long's second goal. I just thought it was an absolute cracker. Like, oh, yeah. It's a FIFA place from 40 yards or whatever. That was a very nice goal. Awesome. Uh, Jason Punchin got a nice free kick. Honourable mention. You did, yeah. Uh, we can uh, confirm there. 3-0 uh, West Brom to Chelsea. That's... Mourinho's penalty tonight, actually, goal in the week. I would presume that this is Mourinho's biggest defeat in the league at, Ch- at Stamford Bridge. Is this the second, well, isn't it's it? Not, it's not it's the Hawthorns. Huh? It's not the Hawthorns. Oh, it was. Jesus Christ. Apparently going to lose 3 0 at home now. Yeah, why did I think that? Do they look the same? No. Kind of. Well, there's green pitch, there's seats. Fuck off. Nets goals. All right. Uh, spoofer of the week. Me on after that comment. Me, yeah. <laughs> I used to have one a show. I'm doing a lot better. Go on. Me for creating that word. <laughs> 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 Me for bringing it to that match. Wait, what was We're all spoofers. Quare, uh, quare. Quare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, the videos we do that next week. Yeah, the Van Hal video. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you're speaking of the week is Van Hal, is it? Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was going to ask you the same till the end, but no. Actually, my spoofer is uh, the Premier League. You're, you're, get your act together. Yeah, fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> By the way, that's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Him just going. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, have, man, I, I, was gonna, man. I was gonna ask you to have it ready for the end. Anyway, oh, you're spoof- ready for the end. Again. Okay, good. You're spoofer of the week, my friend. Me? Yes. Oh, Fabio Cannavaro. Oh, you cunt! You nicked it. Oh, Go. Because he put up uh, a picture. It's like it was great playing against you, Stephen Gerrard. And it was a picture of him at Lampard in midfield, batting for the ball. Now, in all fairness, he right, did delete it immediately. Though. Immediately, but in but all it, fairness, it got, it got out there. It got out there. In all fairness, right? Similar haircut. Number eight, wearing red. Similar haircut. 
Yeah. Jared Lampard, similar haircut. He was also wearing red and number eight. Cannavaro. Jared was always number four. I know, but like Cannavaro, number eight for Jared. Cannavaro might have ignored the fact it was an international game and just thought for some reason it was a picture of Liverpool. Yeah, I also had a match of the day too that showed the Jared thing and showed a speech and then went, now, Martin Keown, Phil Neville, if I had to ask you, here are the stats and some video highlights. Him and Lampard, Who's yeah. better, Jared or Lampard? It's like, why is this still a thing? Why does this happen? Yeah. And then uh, also, uh, fuck, did you hear Phil Neville in that? Uh, he has to be one of the worst men I've ever heard in telly. Uh, probably Roy Chubby Brown's shocking. up there in all fairness who? Roy Chubby Brown but anyway go on oh yeah him but anyway what Bob did Phil Brown he is. What, what did Phil Neville say he's just a fucking idiot okay uh, my spoof of the week was also Fabio Cannavaro um, teaser from last week Daniel I didn't I forgot one last week but I think we did one like weeks ago so I think top of my head was who scored the winning goal for Madrid oh yeah oh, in the Champions League 98 final against Juventus this could be the second time we've answered this but anyway uh John said Raul, which he was wrong, with, as usual. Raul, I'm right. No, you're wrong. Ronaldo. Is that Ronaldo? Yeah. He Mor- was at Barcelona for the time. Mor- right. No. Began with an M, though. He was a striker. I was thinking Miranda, but he's a fake player from Pro. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. Go on. He <laughs> just played for Ladegum as well. <laughs> Go on. Mijatovic. Ah, yeah, yeah, I was getting that. That guy. That guy. Okay. This week's teaser is who's the last England manager or English manager to coach the league champions of England? So who's the last manager to win the highest, the top division? Who's the last English manager to win the Premier League? Or, ah, see, it never was the Premier League, was it? No, wait. Yeah. No. No. Ah, yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, That is an interesting one. That's really interesting. Mm. Okay. Uh, Talk about me way out. Ah, sure, aren't you? Good man. I know. Fantasy time. Uh, Are we still doing this? Like, I don't think any position has changed. Do you know, like, I'm at no, like, the bottom of every other league I'm in, bar this one, where I'm comfortably finishing Com- the table. Co- you're, you're going for top four, are you? The top five? <laughs> I don't think you're playing for John. Not, he's, be- he's beaten me significantly, though. You're kind of went long for town in the League of Ireland. That's good. So you can come see me live. You know? <laughs> that means... that means. <laughs> so. Where was your comedy gig, actually? It was terrible. I didn't get through. Missed the Barcelona-Bayern match. Just That's what seems to be the... the, the, the Recurring team, John being terrible. Like this, oh, easy. This, this comedy gig, it's like that, didn't go well. Mr. Football, Mr. Football, but I got drunk. I, I didn't get drunk this time. Oh. Well, maybe next time. No, I didn't. Top three: Daniel Carroll on 1878, Ronan He's O'Reilly top, on one nine three seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank top God. of the league is Noel Keeley. Noel might break two thousand points when it's all said and done. So that's a huge achievement. Well done, Noel. You're going to be taken out with us and a dictaphone, lads in hands. Uh, some night soon. By the way, can we show. just say as well the top four the way it is? Yeah, adds yeah only a night out if it stays <laughs> this way. How many nights out did we plan, people? It's all going to be the same night out. We'll I can't do too many shows. I'm very ill, by the way, so apologies for the sniffing. Uh, anything else, guys, before we go? Brilliant. Okay, so uh, on that note, thanks for listening. We have our big season review show coming up next week uh, where we're going to have to do a lot of homework, especially myself. We're literally going to have to like look over stats we're not wait and tables. Are going to wait for the FA Cup final and the uh, Champions League final? No, of course we're going to do shows on those, but they're going to be the, the... I think next week will be our Premier League season review, yeah? I guess. We don't need to talk about this Champions League final. We've been talking about it for weeks. It's not, it's not for like another month. Yeah, exactly. So I'll we, not three weeks. So. Um, we might as well spend, we can spend a whole show uh, doing the, the last week, the Premier League as well. It'll be very interesting. We'll get up some stats and then we'll get up some actual and genuine we'll have stats. The, the Championship player final as well. Why would, a, why would a chat win? of a review of the Premier League season be more, be more interesting than the Premier League season itself? Because we'll be <laughs> very, very angry. That's fair. I'm going to get myself proper drunk and angry for next week's show. Loads of shouting. All right. Uh, until then, thanks very much, everybody. And uh, share the show and make sure to like it if you are listening to it on Facebook. We do it out of the goodness of our hearts. We only ask that you tell other people it exists. Uh, until next week, it's been a blast. That's the best one. you. Do you think I was ready on me? I don't think I was ready on me!